Hello, my name is Herman. I'm a writer at Pop Conversation. I'm at Element Art Space. I'm here to view Catalonia's uh, artwork. He has several pieces of brilliant, brilliant paintings here, and we are just going to do a very brief walkthrough of what you can expect if you come right down here to view all this really good stuff. So the, the actually the works on campus are only personal that we actually made. I just want to bring something up real quick again. Uh, I was just told that a lot of these paintings, uh, the canvases are, are, are just made first, the textures are made, and then the painting is done on top of the textured canvas. It wasn't done on a flat surface. So, if anything, that requires a huge amount of skill to do. And what, what it is, right, is that uh, from different angles, uh, from the right angle, you'd see the whole picture. And if you were to outstretch the whole thing, it, it, would, not look, it would not resemble uh, the same picture that you'd see when it's crumpled. Yeah. So, tell me about this. It's the same idea, like this painting. Uh, mm. I am really curious. How long does it take to do one of these paintings? Uh, two months. Two months. Two months. And what's the most difficult thing about doing a painting like that? Uh, concept. Uh, finding. Concept finding. Mm -hmm. So the problem is with the concept. And the, so I think for him it's more important to get the, I mean, the sculpture uh, elements out of the painting. Subject is secondary. Yeah. yeah. And um, how, how do you stumble upon a concept like that? How to uh, change perspective uh, about painting. So you're full of talent. Don't be nervous. <laughs> more talent than I have in one day of a painting. How long have you been doing something like that? Ten months. Mm. Uh, ten months. Ten months. Yeah. 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 Ten months for the whole series itself. But uh, your your painting career, your your experience in painting, they did. Wow, they did. That's fair. This this doesn't look like acrylic or uh, it looks more like print. Airbrush. Airbrush. Oh, so it's airbrush on. Yeah. Airbrush on stainless steel. Because the he he mastered the paintbrush already, <laughs> so he got a little bit bored, so he tried with the airbrush. Yeah, was it Actually, all the stainless steel were all actually very flat, so right. it was actually like a painting, mm. like a, a canvas on a, on a structure. Mm. But then he bangs it and then he moves it, and it's just the same concept. But he's actually using like a non-organic material, like a stainless steel, to make it this. This is photorealistic. Yeah. It's photorealistic. Mm. And then it's a brush. Mm. Oh. I start with photorealistic painting. You start with photorealistic painting. You, if, if you lived in my country and I were the government, you can graffiti anywhere you want. <laughs> you can graffiti anywhere. And this is actually showing the contrast between the hardness and the softness of the material and the subject. Mm -hmm. That's why he used a puppy, because the puppy is so soft, but the stainless steel is so hard and cold. So much thought goes into it. And this one, what's, what's interesting is, yeah, stainless steel is not supposed to corrode, uh -huh. but here he's actually painting corrosion on it. How many layers of painting does it take mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. do something? Mm -hmm. uh, too many. Too many. <laughs> I was just at an APB event yesterday. Right. What is this supposed to represent? Pure sculpture. So, so um, he started off with a painting, like a very fast painting, and then making it into, into 3D. Mm -hmm. This. Uh, it's actually a painting that's unhung. So it's made out of the same material as the other stainless steel, but it's no longer hanging on a wall. It is actually a complete sculpture. It's a complete sculpture propped up by a basketball. Is that a real basketball? Yeah, yeah. It is. I thought it was a painting. I couldn't oh. tell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to end off by thanking you. Uh, thank you so much, Kapu. Yeah. Thank you for your time and uh, thank you for uh, your time too. Yeah, thank you for coming down. <laughs> and uh, this is Herman. Uh, I'm, I'm a writer at Pop Conversation. Do come down to this fantastic art space. Uh, the details will be included 
in the article itself. So uh, do check it out. It's gonna this exhibition is gonna run until until the end of the year. Uh, until the end of the year, and it starts on Tuesday to Saturday, eleven to seven, and Sunday, 11, eleven to five. Yep, there you have it. So uh, do check it out.